Peggy 16. So with Tyranny, we wanted to go with a more stylized view for our characters and environments. It sort of has a nostalgic element. It also has an element of the new as well. So our environment artists, they really push themselves to build some really unique environments that you've never seen before. We wanted to create a world where you could see the history and the age in every scene, in every piece of armor. You have to showcase that evil has won. So there's destruction, there's chaos, uh, not happy colors. <laughs> we wanted to take the environments and still make them a place you really want to explore. It's war-torn and oppressed, but with the art style, we tried to create a little bit of levity with that. It makes it feel like a place where people driven by real human intent and emotions could actually live. There are lots of characters. There's all the companions. All the archons. The disfavored. The innocent bystanders. The armies. And I try to make each one of those its own special character. I would love to say that I art directed that, but this is one of those moments where you allow an artist to be creative and they give you something back that's more than expected. Look at that dude. Art works pretty closely with the narrative team. They would allow us a lot of room to expand the characters in our own way. You can tell like, a lot about a person from just a glimmer behind their eyes, and so that's the thing I really try to go after first. I would talk to narrative and be like, what is the backstory of this guy? What made him who he is today? We get a description like for Siren, who's a uh, 16-year-old opera singer. And we Google like opera singer, and we're like, no, not that one, that's not right. If we can't find any reference, we would then act out the reference. We have tons of swords and tons of shields. The most interesting human to get to move in our game would be the Beastmen because they're just so unique. I bought a, like a pair of Hulk gloves, put those suckers on and started running around the office or running around outside. We made quite a scene. The reason why we didn't use mocap is because it would just look too uncanny for the world that we're in. So for us, because everything was so stylized, we could hit stronger poses and just push reality more than we would through motion capture. I don't want to create generic characters. I want to make these characters feel unique to each other. What I'm most interested in when I'm writing the music for a score is the people that live in this world, that inhabit this world, because that's really what gives it its humanity the game had the potential to sort of veer into very heavy territory and we wanted to avoid that with the music wherever possible so it's sort of this cognitive dissonance where we've created music that by itself can be considered beautiful and it's juxtaposed with this pretty evil guy you know or girl that was really important because we don't want the player to necessarily feel overburdened by all these very heavy decisions we wanted them to feel like they could play this game for hours on end when I look at Tyranny, um, the things that I really love about it, I love the art style. I think it's it's very different from what we've made before. It's a pretty vast world. We wanted to have a little more fun with shape, with skill. There's a lot of really interesting ingredients in the narrative and in the visual look of the world. So you should feel either at home if you're an evil character, and you should feel uh, kind of out of your place if you're a person fighting for good.